Hey everybody and welcome to Amateur Astronomy and Storm Chasing. I'm Garrett and today I'm going to show you how to attach a DSLR camera to a Dobsonian telescope. Now this method may work for other telescopes like refractors and smaller Newtonians but I'm only going to be sticking with what I know. So let's go ahead and get started. Now here I have the Canon Rebel T5i and a 8 inch Skywatcher Dobsonian telescope. And whenever you start researching this stuff, there's a lot of information out there. So you'll likely get just as confused as I did whenever I was looking into all this. But I can say that this method does work for Skywatcher Dobsonian telescopes. And it probably also works for Orion telescopes, if I had to guess, and other mass production Dobsonians that are out there on the market. Now here's what you'll need. The T-Ring designed for your camera. Simply Google Canon, Nikon, whatever brand you shoot with, T-Ring. And here I've got just the cheapest one I could find. It was a Celestron T-Ring. It cost like $10. And pretty much all that you do is you simply screw it in just like you would a normal lens. That's why you gotta be brand specific here because certain T-Rings only fit certain cameras. But once you get it in, you simply screw it in and it locks into place. Once you have your T-Ring attached, simply screw the camera onto the two to one and a quarter inch eyepiece adapter. But I've read other brands have these threads on this adapter piece as well, so it should work just the same. The Skywatcher came with this piece, so I did not have to order it separately. So for this mounting method, you only need a T-ring to attach your camera to your Skywatcher Dobsonian. Here I have a T adapter. Once again, it's just a Celestron T adapter, just the most basic model you can get. It cost me about $20. And what you do with this is you simply screw it into the T ring. And then once you get that screwed onto there, you simply slide the camera into the eyepiece holder, just like you would any other eyepiece. And now you will have to pick up a T adapter if your telescope does not have those threads on the eyepiece adapter that I mentioned earlier. And finally, we have the Barlow lens. And here I have a basic Celestron Omni 2 times Barlow lens. And essentially what the Barlow lens does, it gives you 2 times magnification. And this Barlow lens here, it simply goes onto the end of your T adapter from earlier. And you tighten it down with this thumb screw. And once you get that on, Again, you just simply slide it down into the focuser and you tighten that up. I've not ran into any issues focusing with any of these setups right here on this telescope, so I can say that all of this does work. I do wish that I had a dual speed focuser because it would make focusing a little bit easier, but you know, that's just nitpicking. And this looks like a lot hanging off of this telescope, which it kind of is, but so far I've not discovered any problem whatsoever with this telescope handling this load off of the side of it. So I'm very happy with the setup here that I have going so far. Again, I hope this helps clear up some confusion about this stuff because I know once you get to researching it, there's a lot of information out there and it certainly gets confusing. But all of this does work on the Skywatcher Dobsonian Telescope and I'm very happy with this setup. So I hope you guys enjoy and thanks for watching.